What's up, family? It is O, and this is the O Show, live and inspired. And we're going to take a journey together today. I'm going to share with you an essential key to being able to navigate, experience this individual and collective process of transformation, this evolution, this inner revolution that we can all feel to be able to experience it with more ease, more grace, and more power and clarity. It's not a news flash that there is an intensity of energy on this planet right now. We are in an individual and collective metamorphosis, a transformational process, a birthing, a rebirthing of sorts. And as with most births, there are birthing pains. Oh, tell us to turn some music down here. So one of the ways that you may be experiencing this intensity, and this will lead into the code that I want to share with you, is that there is a magnitude of energy whereby your average day-to-day, week-to-week emotional experience is more intense and there's a quickening. It's happening faster. So your experience, your emotional energetic experience of this process, whether you call it a transformational process or you're just like, I'm just in a mood, is happening faster and with more intensity. I just want to talk about the faster. You could be feeling tuned in, tapped in, on purpose, unstoppable, on a mission, just feeling really grounded and empowered and certain and clear in one moment and then seemingly suddenly, sometimes seemingly out of left field in a way that is can be disorienting. You're like, you're feeling doubt, you're feeling fear, you're not feeling an aliveness, you're not feeling connected to your purpose in the same way. In fact, you might even be questioning like, is this really what I should be doing or what I wanna do? So I wanna speak to that and share this key. And here it is. It is absolutely essential that you do not get mental. Meaning, go into your mind and to start to give meaning and create a story around the emotional energetic experience that you're having, even if you're having thoughts. It is essential not to animate, not to energize those thoughts that may be manifestations of this feeling that you're having, could feel like a lack of purpose, uh, a lack of aliveness, even a lack of aliveness about the things that are like your go-to, your your genuine points of high alignment and resonance. You may wake up one day feeling like, man, I'm just not feeling excited about my uh, my purpose in the same way, or my about my business, or about my relationships. So. Do not make up a story. Do not draw conclusions, right? And do not make life decisions. This is where returning to your natural superpower that you had when you were a child, which is being able to to experience an emotion without judgment, without story, without an agenda, without getting analytical and mental about it. Because as soon as you start getting into your mental and start observing what it is that you're feeling and start drawing conclusions, you're not just drawing harmless conclusions, you are creating, All right? So this is the key. With the spirit of a child, with that natural state of acceptance and love that you already have inside you, then you can go through these transformational waves, these processes in a way that's more fluid, more accurate, with more ease, with more grace, and with more power. I'll give you an example. I, one of my many expressions of service, which I'm living, breathing, (laughs) emanation of service and love and action consistently, one of my expressions is coaching. I coach leaders, high performers, world changer archetypes, what I call legendary souls, the stewards of the planet, people who are actively engaged in expanding consciousness on this planet and making this planet a better place. I love that. I enjoy it. And every now and then, I'll have a feeling and some accompanying thought 
of, man, do I really feel inspired by this? Is this coming to a close? Maybe, maybe this isn't it. This is where the thought process might start to begin. But what I've learned is not to pay attention to thinking or thoughts that are manifestations of what it is that I'm feeling. So then I can ride the wave of transformation and whatever information or integration is happening in this part of the wave of not feeling the aliveness, the excitement and the passion inside of, for example, my coaching, but it could be your relationship, right? This is another thing. It's like, you know, not to start a relationship just on a, you know, impassioned feeling that you're having in a moment, you know, like not to go too far with that or not to go too far in the other direction and be like, okay, I need to end this relationship. I don't feel the passion. I don't feel the intimacy. I don't feel to not draw conclusions so fast is essential. All right, so with me, with the example of coaching, then I can be with the feeling, right? Which it might be, it might be a number of things happening the pro- in the actual process that you may not even be aware of that's happening. One thing that could be happening is an upgrade, right? This is something, just giving an example for me personally, where I'm receiving new energy, I'm receiving new frequencies of light information coming into my being and integrating itself. And in the process, in that process of alchemy, in that death rebirth process, that is not the time to be going into stories and making up meaning because you are actively creating when you speak the word, when you draw a conclusion. So be more humble, more humble, more open, and more surrendered, and more receptive, and more just being with the wave itself. Don't go into resistance. So that is essential, and you will experience more ease, more grace, more clarity, and more power in any cycle of transformation. And yes, it may ultimately mean that Uh, Something is literally transforming. The form itself is transforming. Like the way you're doing something or you might go to a completely new relationship or career, you know, but the, the, the frequency, the essence of your purpose is not necessarily changing. It might just be up leveling, upgrading, purifying itself in some way. So let that process happen and know when to engage with it in terms of reflecting and like drawing conclusions, but you're receiving conclusions versus thinking and being in a state of resistance and looking, trying to hold on to something like, no, my purpose is going away the relationship or just, you know, feeling like depressed and be like, oh, I'm depressed. As soon as you say, I am, this is one of the most powerful and danger, potentially dangerous ways that we can use our powers of observation in our feeling and draw a conclusion is to say like, I am depressed or I am uh, no longer interested or I am because your I am is your creation wand. It is your divinity in action. It is how you give life to ideas and visions and beliefs and perspectives and animate. That is your power. So, Better to say, I feel, than to say, I am. As soon as you say, I am, you're starting to create. You're starting to crystallize and define and create an identity around whatever it is that you're feeling. Absolutely essential at this time. So then when you're going through this transformational process, this might be a death and rebirth process, then you can be humble and open and be with the process and stay receptive to whatever information, integration, up-leveling is trying to happen. So stay out of your head is what I'm saying. (laughs) That is my key for you today. And also be vulnerable with yourself and be vulnerable with your community and the people that you're close to. This will also get you out of your head and out of your, like the... (laughs) Imagine reality that you're alone and you're the only one experiencing, right? And so that you're not just in the reflective mirror of your own thoughts. That can be really dangerous. So also connect with community and share the essence of what it is that you're going through if you feel to. Those are my thoughts for today. Oh, signing off. Peace.